Hey there, figured I'd make a quick video today. This is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a really long time. And every time I've sat down to do it, I over talk about it, I over explain it. And I'm like, I'm just gonna get this out there. So what I wanna say is there is a difference between sex and gender. I do not know if I can use the word sex on YouTube, but I'm gonna use the word sex on YouTube because I need to talk about the fact that sex as it relates to human adults, human people, I mean, technically of any age group, I, you should definitely believe your doctor when he assigns your sex at birth, like they have, you know, all the evidence in front of them. They're male and female. Those are the types. Those are the two. Those are the two. Like, come on, you guys. <laughs> can, we, can we all like get back to a basic agreement and understanding of how this works. There's males, there's females, there's those people that like to dress as the opposite sex because there's two of them. You say opposite because they're complementary. They're within the same duality that's important to acknowledge them. We are a sexually dimorphic species. There are differences between men and women. If that is sexist to acknowledge, then Okay, one more sexist gay. Go ahead and chalk it up. But honestly, this is a topic that I feel like people aren't even on the same page about anymore. I feel like, I don't know, I went to Catholic school and at some point we were using the word gender instead of sex because you couldn't talk about sex. But it kind of got to a point where it's like, those aren't the same thing though. To a kid, when you need to say if you're male or female and you don't want to see sex, I get it, putting gender was easier, but like, we need to get back on track because apparently it's becoming a huge problem to where now like our legislation is getting all bogged down and who's a female? It's like, we know who's a female. Like, let's stop playing this game of like, huh, who knows? Like, let's reinvent something that we've known for all of human history. Something that we know to be an empirical truth, reproduction and how babies are made. Yeah, let's go ahead and just play God real quick. And I don't know your version of God, you might, you don't need to have a version of God. I'm just saying, I believe in some form of intelligent design. The body is beautifully made. And I just think that I know, because I've lived in the world, there are males and there are females. There are people that are intersex that do not want to be used as a talking point or a token when it comes to the argument of, can people change sex or gender? It's like, no, if anything, those people would love to be one sex or the other and have a less complicated life. Like, if anything, it validates it. But I, in order to respect that, I don't want to, you know, throw other people under the bus as a community that's already uncomfortable. But as that relates, I've now defined sex. We're moving forward with that. Sex is male or female. We got it. Cool. In the bank, let's move right on to gender. Gender is masculine over here, feminine right here, okay? People, as they interact in their life with other people, you learn to compliment other people or you butt heads with them immediately because you realize like neither of you is really willing to compliment the other one, you're not willing to budge, like, and you don't know why, but maybe you don't respect this person or maybe you just don't have it in you to compliment the other person like that. And I'm not talking about compliments like I love your hair. I'm talking about yin and yang, complimenting each other. People who are working together, maybe not even for the same goal, but to get to their goal. So let's say you and I, we get together and I want a house made, right? And you wanna get strong. You wanna impress somebody in the village we live in. So, okay, let's go have you do lots of lumberjack stuff. You get to be cool and that's awesome. And then I'll take all the wood and I'll pay you money from my other job to get the wood from you. That works, right? I'm appealing to your strength by asking you to do something for me. You're appealing to your other dynamic. You have a separate goal, cause why not? Why not kill multiple birds with one stone? Who cares about birds? Kill as many birds as you want. Get Grab all the rocks you want. Kill a bird or two, who cares? Who cares, kill a bird. I'm a vegan, kill a bunch of birds. One rock, 45 birds, that's incredible. That's the most vegan thing you could do. 
that's, you get a vegan trophy. But I need to get back to what I'm talking about, which is gender, all right? So the whole thing, I feel like I'm gonna get into the weeds about it. But in reality, what I need to get out is that there's masculine, there's feminine. You will probably ebb and flow and change depending on who you're interacting with, your chemical balance, your appetite, your libido, your needs, like you will change. That's just how people are. Like, I don't know anybody who's the same as they were when they were 13 years old. It's because you learn more, you get better, you realize, hmm, I have a problem with this person, but I'd like to not have a problem. How can I get to that? Because I got to this problem, which means there's something that exists that causes friction. So how can I either work with that friction, turn it into kinetic energy, or just let that friction totally like push me off into space. I've been repulsed. I am no longer needed and part of this. And there's like 8 billion people on the planet now. So I'll just go find one of them. So that's okay too. So the thing is, your gender's gonna change. And it's not in the sense that you gotta declare anything. You don't gotta talk about it. You don't have to say, oh, I'm this gender, I'm masculine, oh, I'm feminine. It's like, who cares? Like, <laughs> first of all, other people clock you and they will make that distinction about you. So it's not really something that you declare. You don't self-identify as, I am masculine. I know that I do masculine things. I have masculine qualities. I also know that many people perceive me very femininely. And that is something that I resented for a while. And then I realized I'm like, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. There's a lot of advantages to it. And when you wield it properly, it's great. Cause I'm a six foot two guy. And like when I'm around other men, I want to be a six foot two guy. But when I'm around like a group of women, I don't want to be a tall guy. I want to be someone who can lower their voice and who can be really sweet and who, um, who's really like, when I, when I speak, I just want to be like, I put people at ease and I make sure that there's no aggression in my tone. But when I'm like, I'm just being me, like right now, I want to just talk how I want to talk. But I realize that like how you gender yourself within the world is just a way to get by. It's a way to survive. It's a way to treat others with respect and to tell them I'm willing to meet you halfway. I'm realizing I'm not blinking a lot because I'm like really intense about all this. I've been, like I said, I tried to make a video about it. I'm trying so hard to seem intelligent on the topic, but in reality, it's like my opinion's gonna be my opinion. You'll you'll either give me credit or not for thinking how I think, and the reality is like the sources are available to everyone. Like you can go look outside, like. I don't think like if you look at a tree, you're like, okay, ooh, I get male and female, but I'm saying these are observable things. That's good science. Good science is observable and repeatable, okay? So using the exception to the rule as the rule, that's not good science. If you wanna, and this seems to be what everyone does now is just redirect each other to articles and stuff and be like, read this science. The science is against it or the science is for it. Who is science? You can be science. Like you have five senses. You have a brain, like come on now. Like you can be science, you can be critical. You can think about stuff. You can say, hmm, doesn't pass the smell test. Hmm, that doesn't look right. Hmm, this tastes funny. Maybe I shouldn't eat the rest of it. Like you gotta think for yourself. And that includes remembering that you had a mom and you had a dad, whether they're in the picture or not, whatever your situation in your life is, like that's how you were born. So I've talked very passionately, very emphatically. This is something that it's like, it's on the tip of my tongue and I need to get it out. So thank you very much for listening. What did we learn today? Male and female are the sexes. Yeah, that applies to most things, but specifically for humans, we're really just gonna lock that one in. We're gonna say male and female, exceptions may apply but those people have conditions and those people who are, by the way, worthy of all of your dignity and respect, like they did not do anything to deserve any kind of mockery or anything that would make them feel like, like they did something wrong. Like you didn't ask to be born in the body you're in, right? Like, especially something where you don't get to participate in the human sexual experience like that. Like that's a very tough hand to have to play. So like, let's just be really considerate with the way that we talk about subjects like this. But at the same time, 
let's all be on the same page or let's at least be reading the same book. Okay, thanks. I'm done yelling. Thanks.